Do you ever think about the day you'll meet Jesus? What he'll say about how you lived your life? How he'll grade you on what you accomplished for him? What the end result will be? Of all the areas you juggle as a Christian, handling money God's way is one of the toughest to get right. So the question remains, how do we get it right? Well, we've got two words for you. Financial discipleship. Financial discipleship is a critical component in growing our relationship with the Lord. It is a lifelong journey to learn, apply, and multiply everything God says about money for His glory. It's not a formula, a quick fix, or a self-help event. It's a lifestyle and a choice for us to surrender daily to God's ownership, His Lordship, and His authority over all that has been entrusted to us. When we're fully surrendered, we'll experience a metamorphosis, a permanent change in who we are and our life's purpose. Financial discipleship looks different. Our defining qualities become less visible, but they really stand out to Jesus. Things like humility and steady plotting define who we are. We'll spend less than we make, be diligent about getting out of debt, and set goals for giving and serving others. His goals become our goals. But financial discipleship isn't just about our personal journey. It also means doing our best to help others, making disciples in the area of money and possessions. Discipleship is the priority Jesus has for our life. While recruiting his disciples, Jesus said, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. These 10 words set the tone for discipleship and our calling as Christians. To follow Jesus is to make disciples. Like the caterpillar transforming into a butterfly, our financial discipleship journey is also marked by transformation. We are now Holy Spirit led. Our heart is converted. We are now called to improve ourselves and others. No more me, myself, and I. Our desire to learn what the Bible says about money grows, along with our ability to apply what we're learning. Our focus is now on making an eternal impact and building up treasure in heaven. As financial disciples, we walk the talk. In the parable of the talents, Jesus outlines our objective as a financial disciple. Multiplication. God has invested in us, and now he is calling us to multiply his investment into the lives of others, just like Jesus did. So, what is a financial disciple? Simple, someone who follows Jesus, makes disciples, and glorifies God in the area of money and possessions. And if you haven't embarked upon this financial discipleship journey yet, we want to help you get started today.